Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 213. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about a listener question. And the question goes like this. Dear Linda, My friend says the market is off and running and will go to 50,000 from here. Will the Dow shoot to 50,000 without a rest? Thank you, Raul. (laughs) Well, Raul, what a question. You know, I think since the market has really taken off since Trump's victory, a lot of people are speculating about what does the future hold? And is this a sign that the market is going to be a rip-roaring bull market for for the next four years? And the answer is that we have to look at a few things. First of all, let's look at the Dow. The Dow is really only 30 companies. They're very large companies like American Express, Caterpillar, Chevron, McDonald's, Walt Disney, a lot of household names that you're very, very familiar with, as well as some tech names like Apple, Cisco Systems, Microsoft, Intel, and IBM. So you have a lot of these very large companies. It used to be that they were, quote, industrials. But now, as you can see, it's quite a mix of large corporations. And the thing about the way the stock market moves is that the stock market moves in waves, which I call cycles. And that's also the nature of things in our universe and on our planet, we have 4,200 cycles on our planet that we have readily identified. Things like your biorhythms and your heartbeat, as well as our seasons and day and night and all of those things are all cycles. So a lot of things are actually interrelated. It's not a wide held belief that the stock market is implicated in things like that, but I happen to follow people who do think that that is the case, and I do think everything is connected, and we do see cycles in the stock market, but I digress. So, in other words, everything moves in a wave, just like sound is a wave, light is a wave, everything moves in waves, and that goes for the stock market as well. So, nothing goes up without going in the opposite direction for some period of time. And for right now, when I look at the indicators of the Dow, it looks like things like the moving average convergence divergence indicator, which simply looks at the moving averages, it looks a bit toppy. It looks like it is ready to roll over, although it just took a little bit of a pivot northward uh, right at the very end of the top of the MACD. So it looks like just for a little bit longer, It's going to move up and then roll over a bit. We look at the relative strength, which you can go to stockcharts.com and put in INDU for the symbol, and that will pull up the Dow. And you can look at the chart. You can look at the MACD at the bottom. You can look at the relative strength at the top. You can see the relative strength is looking very overbought, very toppy again. You can also find out that consumer confidence right now is roughly about 63%, which is extremely bullish, which actually is a bearish indicator, meaning when everyone is thinking everything is super spectacular and going to keep going up like crazy, that the market is going to actually go down. You also can see on that chart that the Dow is way above the 50-day moving average, which it usually does eventually come back and touch the 50-day moving average, sometimes touches it, sometimes goes a little bit below it, sometimes a little above it, but it's pretty extended above it right now. So it all tells me that we're ready to have some sort of a pullback in the Dow. 
How long will that be or how deep will that be? I don't really know. It depends on if it breaks support and what support levels it breaks and how much volume there is and that kind of thing. But for right now, it just looks like it's definitely been extended. I think there's been a lot of short covering, which has caused a very sharp rally after the Trump win. I think we're ready to see the markets roll over and no roll. I don't think we're going to see the Dow shoot to 50,000 without a rest. Now, having said that, I do think that the Dow can go much higher next year, and I am looking for the next level here from roughly 19,400 to eventually 31,000 is one of my points I'm looking for. So maybe on the way to 50,000, I'm not sure, but we got to hit that 31,000 mark first. So that is my next really bullish indicator, but I think we're a ways out from that, and it certainly won't go without a rest because everything moves in cycles and it looks like the Dow is getting tired a little bit right here. Have you been to my website and gotten your 11 quick tips to boost your wealth? It's a short report that gives you 11 quick things you can do to improve your wealth. Just go to my website, lindapjones.com and pick up your free report. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. Share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog, and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.